guys, this is Scott from The Average Joe's Armory, the channel for The Average Joe, and today we're going to be starting part one of our three-part mini-series. Now for this series, we've chosen to go over three of Remington's classic shotguns, the Model 10, the Model 29, and the Model 31. So with that said, let's jump on in to the Model 10. Now you got to keep in mind, this is going into the 1900s and there was a lot of competition in terms of like getting the best out there on the market. In fact, Remington and Winchester were two of the big companies here in America that were kind of going at it. Now, going into the 1900s, Winchester had already uh, made the 1893 and the 1897. Both were pump action shotguns and it was time for Remington to, to bring their design to the table. John Pedersen came up with the Model 10 in 1907 and it was actually uh, started to be produced in 1908 and they went all the way to 1929 with that pump action model. Now, this was a bottom uh, feeding and bottom ejecting shotgun, um, pump action, 12 gauge, and uh, what they did is um, they actually made different configurations of this. So uh, different barrel sizes, uh, ranging from 26 inches to 28 inches to 30 inches to 32 inches. They also made different grades as well. Um, they had the standard, the deluxe, trap, and a couple other grades as well. Um, you know, changes with the wood, changes with the barrel, uh, the different rib, things like that. Uh, now they produced about 275,000 of these guns between 08 and 29, and, uh, and they were a success. Another cool fact about the Model 10 is that this was also during the time of World War I, and what they did is they took these guns and they actually chopped the barrel down and they actually used them for trench guns, for trench warfare, which is pretty cool. In fact, if you find one of those, um, you definitely want to get your hands on it because they are scarce, they are worth a lot of money, um, and there's not a lot of them out there out in the wild anymore. On top of that, you know, a couple other features that I really like about the Model 10 is that it was the first uh, takedown model, so really easy to take apart, clean, um, change parts on and things like that, and put back together, um, which is pretty handy. Um, it's very reliable. It also takes multiple loads, so you can do light loads, you can do heavy loads. Um, it's pretty versatile there as well. Now, we've got this one right here, which is a 1909, so uh, pretty cool. It's actually one of the first ones that they, they made, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. I've taken this one out to uh, the trap field, shot seven and a half shot, shot eight shot with it. Um, I really like the way it feels in the hand. Um, pretty smooth pump, everything like that. So overall, a pretty reliable shotgun for its age. Um, as always, we're really lucky to get our hands on these classic firearms. Um, we love doing the reviews. We love doing the research. We love taking the video and sharing it with all of you. Um, if you do like this content, you know, we ask that you please like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can get notifications of all of our future content. Um, please stick around. You know, we've got part two on the Model 29 and part three on the Model 31 coming up as we do our mini-series on Remington's first pump-action shotguns. Thanks for watching, guys.